is going on to the next thing. Oh. Yeah! Woo. We're marching, we're moving, we're heading towards the victory line. And you need persons of truth to stand against every lie and not be ashamed. I thank God for Father Colonia. I see him every time. He's always making me an offer I can't refuse, but I thank God for his faithfulness because he's known nationally. I think of the first priest that came to my church the first time I went in front of an abortion clinic, Father Frank Favone, and he was challenging people, challenging people to be aware of the murder that was going on in their city. I thank God for Walter Hoy here. I thank God for Bruce Rivers here. I thank God for these people, because you got to stand now. You have to stand now and recognize you must speak truth to power. All you heard today was about the lies, and it's good to know, indeed, we've been lied to. And as I said on yesterday in Oakland, guess what? Fake news is coming down. Fake news is coming down. The pro-lifers have been fighting fake news since its inception, all right? Since you began, because they were saying that's not a baby. They're saying that's not the gift of God. They're saying there's no such thing to the sanctity of life. That's fake news! And we're now exposing the darkness. You're exposing the darkness. My hero, Dr. Martin Luther King, spoke of the I thou. But I learned just recently that while in a, a hard time, when he was writing from a letter from a Birmingham jail, he referenced that, but he did not construct that. That came from a Martin Berber, who was a theologian and philosopher. But guess what he said? I was in Germany when the Third Reich came. I saw the cruelty. I saw the pain. I saw a culture switch from an I thou to an I it. No longer I and thou. Now it was I and it. It was discrimination. It reduced persons to the status of things. He said it would bring about a moral degeneracy and moral bankruptcy. And that's just what happened. Dr. King echoed what he said. When you're discriminating against anyone, when you are causing your cruelty to be manifested in the legislation, the laws of the land, you will birth moral degeneracy and spiritual bankruptcy. Now that's your message. Why? Because